word. Welcome to the B side word. I'm Devin. I'm here with Emma. Hello. I'm here with Maxi. Hello. I'm here with Alexander. What's up? And we're gathered here to have Today. a confab about interesting articles and what are the, what else are we talking about? Just mm-hmm. stuff. And stuff. Just stuff. Am I? What a confab. Okay, yeah. What's a confab? I just want, that's why I wanted. That's why I, I wanted that to word. do the introduction. I missed. That. That's why I wanted to do the introduction because I learned a new word, confab. <laughs> From, is it fr- did what, you learn a new mean, word Beth? from our new encyclopedia collection? No. <laughs> <laughs> Which is CJ's old collection from his old house. Dev was like, oh, I'll take that whole collection and put it in my studio. <laughs> Doesn't it? It looks nice on you. It's your, your background. Oh, it's behind me. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I love that you, you've you taken an encyclopedia because it looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't make it. Fair, so- every, every book that me and Melody buy has to go through the bookshelf test. Oh, so if we find God. a book we like, then we have to look at what variations you can buy that in. Because most books come with a lot of different covers. So oh you have to find the one God. that's nice, and you have to order it, and then, it, then it's allowed on your bookshelf. Otherwise, <laughs> no. we have like a stash where I am now, actually, in the drawer of books, which are good books, but are ugly looking. Oh. <laughs> so do you look, when you do the bookshelf test, do you look at the spine of the book or the cover of the book? Spine. spine. Both. Like, our bookshelf, I'll have to show you a, a clip. Our bookshelf's got a mix of the spine showing and also the front showing. What? So, yeah. Hmm. Do send me your bookshelf list because mine needs an update. Bookshelf? No, he Book just took a picture. Screenshot. Yeah, just a picture. Uh. Um, so, yes, guys, our first article this week is actually Alexander's that he put in about the new way the offices are trying to get people more productive. Are you- so, look. I don't know about you guys, but uh, has everyone here worked in an office? Oh, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Dev hasn't. So no, no, no. this like might be a bit of a us. different experience for you, Dev. But yeah. for those of us who have worked in an office, we know that sometimes when you're at work, you, you don't want to work. You don't want to be at your desk anymore. Maybe the person next to you is annoying you. Maybe you're just tired of looking at the screen or whatever. You've already taken your breaks. It's not lunch time. So what do you do? You go to the, you go to the toilet. Like it's, it's <laughs> kind of a, an escape room. Like you, you go in there. Um, and you go, you can't just stand in the toilet. So I want to walk in and think, what is this weirdo doing? So you go into the cubicle, you go sit down. Maybe you need to use the toilet, maybe you don't. Wh- whatever it is. Well, <laughs> companies companies have started to clock on to how much time we're wasting in toilets, I reckon. like They're, they're paying attention. They've got the timer out. Ooh, oh, no, that's not a even while. a lie. I had a team. Uh, she wasn't even a team leader. She just was like this girl who thought she was like, Ugh. anyway. She goes, we've been timing how long everyone takes to go to the toilet and it should only take two minutes and something and everyone's been taking way more than that. I was like, what? What? Yeah, so you know what? It's not even it's not even your own fault sometimes because you're going to go in, you have the intention, you know, I'll, ki- I'll kill a couple of minutes and I'll go back to my desk. And then because we have these these things called phones, you know, you sat there and <laughs> 10 minutes has gone by and you're like, oh, I need to get back. Wait. So you go back to your desk. Okay. <laughs> Can I interrupt so, again? Go, go. <gasps> I thought this was uh, a thing that people in general were grossed out by, but maybe it's just me. But I, I, it's like a pet peeve when people take their phone into the <laughs> toilet. I knew like, you were going there. I, actually, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it makes me cringe. I knew it. <laughs> I don't touch anyone else's phone. I refuse to touch anyone yeah, else's phone. Yeah, but I don't want to touch your phone. But my kids touch your phone and you take that phone to the toilet. Yeah, but I said, did I say, I said, I don't touch anyone else's phone. What does that mean? Because I know it's filthy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can okay. touch my own filth. It's my filth. But I don't, I don't want to touch anyone else's filth. Is that just my thing? Like, <laughs> when let's you take know a vote. <laughs> when you know facts about toilet filth and where it goes and toilet paper and all that stuff, kind of stuff, you, it like whatever, like that's that's just another part of the parcel. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, oh, no. going going back to the less gross yeah, stuff. Sorry the about listeners that. still um, don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So this, sorry, uh, what companies have done, it, or what this company have done, that they've invented a new toilet that they want offices to put or, or people to put in their buildings. And it's specifically <laughs> to stop employees from staying on the toilet. So they've, they, the, the seat that you sit on has now been in this toilet. Re- the angle has been dropped by 13 degrees. So imagine like a negative slope. 
as if like you're going to slip off of it. And apparently it's supposed to cause strain in your legs um, within after five, five minutes. minutes. Well, it's, yeah, this, this pitch says after five minutes. Now what, I mean, it, imagine, imagine like if you had to squat to go to the toilet without a seat, like how, how painful that would be. This is somewhat replicating that. Yeah, well, a, that's what women do. It's, every it's time. easy. That's easy to get past. That thirteen degrees. That's easy to get past. You just get um. Go on. You just get. Uh, I, I'd say. You get six books, six <laughs> thick books. 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 Real big books, like encyclopedia books, right? <laughs> and like so that your when it raises, you know, how you you're slanting back, but because your legs are up higher, it it takes away from the. The degrees oh, of so you're saying put your feet under the books? Yeah, put your feet under the books. That, that wouldn't that wouldn't help you. <laughs> yeah, it would. It's not going to help the ankle. No, it what wouldn't. It means you have a lower surface area on the seat, I guess. You'd still yeah. be slipping. Yeah, because you're yeah, supposed to... Yeah, you'd still you're... slip down. Oh, you're slipping. Oh, if anything, that yeah. you slip You're slipping more. down. You need to see the picture. Yeah, can I see this picture? It's 13 <laughs> degrees. How big is 13 degrees? So, oh, no, it's... Someone oh, did... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did... I had it the other way. Wait for no. Oh. oh, you're leaning forward. Yeah, it's slipping oh. back into it. Yeah. Basically, if you okay. relaxed, if, so this seat is such that if you just relaxed and took your feet off the floor, you just slide off the front of the toilet seat. So you have to constantly apply a little bit of force Pressure. through your feet to keep yourself on the seat. Uh huh. Someone did well, say you could put a book underneath the front of the seat, maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going. I thought you were going to say like yeah, stack up toilet just, paper just, or something. Considering someone that's. Like we're speaking about taking your phone being a bad thing, you're gonna put a book <laughs> in the toilet seat. That's like next level. Someone <laughs> asked, "What's that book for?" It's my poo book. <laughs> it's my poo book. <laughs> no, but I saw. So, I did see a comment saying, "Solution solved. Just squish like a toilet roll under your legs on the seat, and then it's gonna annoy the company. It's gonna annoy the company because they're gonna have to keep buying loads of toilet rolls." Can I? Well, you could solve this by just pissing all over the seat, and then no one's going to sit on it anyway. Oh have to squat. no! <laughs> 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 Can I have a? What ma manager rocks up half an hour early? <sighs> Let's get ready for the day. <laughs> you know that. Or just have a, a motion sensor which sends sirens to the like every every minute you use it lets the office know how many minutes you've used. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Dev has um, been in the this, toilet for one minute. <laughs> so this Dev kind of goes in into um, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so I've got like, a couple of questions off the back of this. Got, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> we'll go with the first one for me is this. This uh, I'm guessing this is down to the the big thing of stealing time. Like companies don't like you stealing time when you're at work. That's the one. So like, what what other ways have you or do you know other people who have stolen time when they're at work? <laughs> the toilet's a lot. The toilet one's a good one. Oh, walks. Like, sometimes I just walk in the office because it's not even a big office. I just walk around, just go and sit somewhere and pretend I'm thinking about making a phone call. But you're or not. Or just walk outside. <laughs> I I'll say, yeah, I've, I've definitely done the phone call one in my last job because we had headset. So I'd just be like, like, when, because we had the headset, like, we'd walk around the, <laughs> our floor a lot when we we're on the phone. So I'll like mm. pretend a phone call's coming in, but I just walk out and I just walk off. <laughs> 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 well, the the only problem is we work at glass walls. Because so I work in a call center and every second is accounted for. Like as in you have to press a button if you need to go on personal time. It's called personal to go to the toilet or whatever. And you're only allowed a certain amount of personal time, five minutes for the day. So we don't five have- Five minutes for the day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that true prison? story true. is that right so you have an eight hour day with a half hour break yes we have eight and hour you day have a five minute personal time no half hour break and then they give us two 15 minute breaks one in the morning one in the afternoon but if we want anything okay. besides that so we're on our headset the whole day if you want anything besides that like you need the loo or whatever you have to press a button and it starts counting how long you're taking and then when you come back you click off that button to be to say that you're ready again to start taking calls so it counts and then like that that's the stats so if you've taken more than your five minutes or if you're for some reason taking more personal time than you should you'll get pulled up you, you know it's funny how you're talking about my mind's totally Jeez. different my situation is totally different um when it comes to toilet breaks right so um it got to the point where there was this uh he's not he doesn't work for us anymore but he he would poo strategically and I mean strategically, it's so like we'd have a break at nine o'clock and as soon as we'd start work, he'd go, oh, I need to go to the toilet. 
So you'd have to go leave the job and go to the nearest toilet, right? Oh. So, and then you come back. And so that's like a 15, half an hour trip because you go there, you have to find parking, do your thing, come back, right? Oh my gosh. So, so um, he'd do this at lunchtime after lunch as well. So like 12.30 would finish. Maybe he has IBS. It possibly, right? So um, he'd go, oh, I need to go to the toilet again. So he'd leave again. So again, everyone has to wait for this guy to go do his thing and come back, right? And depending where you are, if you're in the bush, it's more than half an hour. It's like an hour wait. Oh. You know what I mean? Anyways, wow. so they got to the point where they're like, okay, they're, he he was like, well, I need to go to the toilet. You can't stop me from going to the toilet. They go, right, you're going to carry a port around. Ah. So they had this trailer <laughs> with a port with this massive truck and then you got this port on it and he's he, you're driving no. around with this poo. You're the poo-mobile. <laughs> <laughs> You're just driving around with all this stuff. So wait, did he still have the same schedule once he had the portal? So, so, you know, with guys and portaloos, what are you gonna do? What do you do when you got a portaloo and there's a guy in there? What do you do? What do you do? Push it over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we didn't push it. Over. <laughs> but it's just like every time someone go in the portaloo, they get a bit of a rock. <laughs> 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 This is why we Maybe full on pushed it over, like onto its side. Oh, now we'd, be in, when, like, the, we'd be in trouble. Because that's when like the shit then. and everything goes everywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you do that, <laughs> the flap opens and all the blue goo comes out. Oh. I mean, no I don't know how you way. poo, but <laughs> blue goo. <laughs> that's no, that's crazy. The, that's, the, <laughs> that's the stuff in the portal to disinfect <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, no, well, I have had a look at um. Not really like the bad things that people have done, but I was I had to look to see what companies are doing to help productivity, but in a positive way, right? So, for example, mm. well, actually, this first one's a bit not positive. Well, it's anyway, Apple and Facebook. You, I think we talked about this, or you might have heard about it offer their female workers up to 20,000 US dollars to freeze their eggs. That one isn't a positive one. That one's a what? What? Yeah. Who does that? Apple and Facebook. Facebook started it and Why? then Apple. $20,000? US dollars, 20,000 to freeze, to freeze their, their eggs. What? So that they what have they, children what, long. Why do they want their eggs? <laughs> what are they doing with them? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. No. No, they get to keep their eggs. No. I'm talking about like we're talking about like as a female, right? Like yeah, yeah. What are they? Why do what? So they can have ch so children the, later. Yeah. So the company is saying to the females, "We're going to give you money to freeze your eggs if you want." Like they're not. They're not <laughs> oh, so it. to prevent like maternity leave? Yeah, to prevent yeah. people having kids. Like so, they stay in the company longer, have kids later. Yeah. So they don't just up and leave because they get pregnant. That's wild. I thought yeah. you meant like they were offering them 20 grand for <laughs> their ex. Like they, I knew they you did. I was Bonson. like, I knew, no, Alexander. <laughs> That's next level. I mean, Google are just taking. <laughs> Google and Facebook. What are they going like, to do with the ex? Like, like they were going to later produce their own army of like employees or something. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> you're a really good worker. Let me have your egg. I like your jeans. <laughs> I was about to call human <laughs> rights up. Like, what's going on? Wendy, Wendy, come into the office. We really like you as a worker. Uh, Can I buy your eggs? <laughs> give you 20,000. No, no, no. It's Apple, Apple and Facebook. Uh, oh my God. You made Apple. me start crying. Apple yeah, and Facebook, Apple and Facebook. Not Google. Uh, oh my God. Wow, that's crazy. And then, like, I know. I know. I'm, I'm assuming as well, like this, this is a presumption. I'm assuming there's some men in the office that made this decision as well. Like they sat around and was like... <laughs> This yeah. maternity stuff, this gender pay gap, how can we solve this? <laughs> I was like, how about, this is like Rick in the corner. His name's Rick. I don't Rick. know why. But Rick's in the corner. Like, how about, <laughs> how about we take their eggs? And then everyone's laughing. Like, oh, good one, Rick. And then it goes quiet like, no, and seriously. everyone's like, Ooh. let's just take their eggs. <laughs> Isn't that so like, all right, let's take their eggs. And then it was decision made. And now they're oh, offering. I feel like that's so really abusive. An egg. You like take it out of policy. their body, freeze it, and then put yeah. it back in. Yes. yes, but the thing is, there's yes. no guarantee that it, it yeah. is going to work. Like it's going to thaw properly and work properly and be in the same condition, etc. But yes, essentially, that's what happens. But uh, is to me that's a, like a really abusive use of power because you're you're basically <laughs> you're you're going on the fact that these people need the money. Yeah, sounds to illegal, say to change, change your entire lifestyle. 
here, have some money. <laughs> 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 I know. I don't know. It's obviously had a lot of backlash. I, I wonder if anyway. I, I actually heard about it before. I, I like maybe I need to investigate to see if they're if they're actually still doing that. Um, surely, wait, wait, just the surely there's better ways to find like to build productivity than look at the like us pissing. That's okay. Yeah, that was going to be my I'm second saying. question: was so like does this the, whole thing of stealing time actually? One minute Does warning. reducing employees stealing time actually increase productivity? No, you have to boost morale and you have to like show your employees that you care. So, for example, SC Johnson give their um, staff, and there's like 12,000 of them, so there's quite a lot, access to a concierge service. So they, whenever they want, they can just book for someone to do their chores like at home. Like, like if they needed um, something picking up, like dry cleaning, or they needed something dropping off or a cleaner, whatever it is, this concierge person they have access to does it so they can go home and not have to worry whatever and they're all fresh that's the that's the thinking behind it and then you've got like other ones like freeborn and peters once a year they get everyone in the office to bring a, a like a suitcase packed suitcase and then on the spot they choose i think three um employees randomly to go on an all expenses las vegas trip on the spot like so everyone brings it. Can you imagine that? Everyone bringing their suitcase and you'd be like, I hope it's me, I hope it's me, I hope it's me. <laughs> and then, yeah, like every year they just um, pick people to go. And then obviously Google their offices. What's a what's a bocce court or a bock court, by the way? Bocce court? Is it bocce? B-O-C-C-E. Bocce no, court. I've heard of it. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is. Is, is that They've the old, t- uh, old Maltese thing or Italian thing where they throw the ball? Is that bocce? Know. But they've got a bocce cords. They've got never-ending food, free never-ending food, physical therapy, rainbow slides, whatever that is, masseuses, laundry stuff, haircuts, swimming pools, gym, ping pong tables, video games. This is to increase productivity. Just for you know morale, you know, pl- make it a place <laughs> that you like want to work. They get <laughs> so free access something... to scooters. They can bring their dogs. Can I just quickly run back to the Apple one because Apple don't pay women twenty thousand dollars to do this. They don't give the offer woman it. No, they offer it. Eggs. What do they, they do? They said they said if a woman wants to, they yeah. will pay for the service. Yes. Oh, okay. No, that's what I mean. I mean that's so the same thing. Up to twenty thousand dollars. I don't think <laughs> it's the same. It's thing. just, it's just word. It's just advice. worded. Yeah, but, no, but it's, it's not worded advice. differently. It's not saying I'll give you twenty thousand pound if you if you don't have a kid. It's saying if you don't want a kid, then let us know and we'll help you make that the case. Do you know what I mean? It's not the same as saying. We want you to not have a kid, so I'll give you twenty thousand dollars to do it. And they're like, "Oh, I'll take the cash now." And then, oh no, 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 it's not cash. It's not yeah, cash. They like uh, pay for the service, so up to twenty thousand US. Like they offer it to the women, to the employees. So they're like, "If you want to freeze your eggs, you can do this. This is one of our programs you can do, and um, we'll pay for it basically." And then yeah. it's up to so the they woman they whether got, like, they want. Longer wanna... maternity leave. They offer this new service, and more and they offer like more treatment when you're having kids like to make oh. sure you protect so it's basically saying the idea of this is to protect families it's just a really interesting like strange freezing eggs like i know like I would know. they do that for males like let, do you want to freeze your sperm eggs. not eggs yeah. yeah we have enough sperm to go around don't worry about that <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it's just bizarre so, i don't know about this tilted toilet thing Got a quick tweet for you. This one is from MKBHD, Marcus Brownlee. Um, uh-huh. it's, just, oh. it's just a nice nice one. Conversation okay. starter. All right. If you were dropped back in time into January 1st, 1800, how would you successfully prove you were from the future without bringing anything back? Go. Uh, Can you re- January first, eighteen hundred? Like, yeah. Can you repeat how, that? First of all, how well like do you know history? First, <laughs> yeah, I know. Where it's would like, I be? Because obviously, like, no one knows anything about other countries back then. What? Could you repeat it? What? So I can't bring anything from the future back to yeah, the yeah. And you've got to prove that you're yeah. from the future. You can't really start saying your your new your, your new way of talking because they'll just put you in a an asylum. Because I'm like, what is this person <laughs> talking about? What is this lol lol? <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> lol <laughs> send him away <laughs> but then i don't also, know history well enough to predict an event to demonstrate yeah and uh, you can't predict an event because predict an event because 
you'd have to it have to like if you predict an event too far far in the future, let's say eighteen whatever twenty, that's also in the future. Oh, so they're not going to know that that's happened. Eighteen twenty. So it'd have to be sometime within that ne- the next couple of weeks. <laughs> like, but also it has to be something that's like local. <laughs> because in 1800, they didn't have a telephone, right? No. Did they? Mm, no. Good question. I don't know. When was it? How does our Graham Bell? Did you... I went to like a village in England. They have no idea what happened in America. Yeah. Or... So I have to predict events specific for that town I'm in. Yeah. So I don't think predicting events the way forward. I guess what I would try and do is like, I don't even know. I can't remember how far. Like, I just basically think of anything engineering wise I know because of where I am today, and then I'll just build it. Yes. Out of materials. Maxi. Yeah, but that works for Maxi. What if this doesn't work for you? You're not <laughs> no, <engineer>. we, we <laughs> could build something. We could definitely build something. Where are you going? Where are you going? You don't have to build something now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my going? laptop died. I just realized the plug wasn't switched on. <laughs> do you, you can't use your laptop. Do you know what, so do you know what I would do? <laughs> I think if this was like a permanent right, you're going to be left in the past. Unless I could think of something quicker, because right now I can't. I think I would just predict a bunch of stuff and just be happy with the fact that I'm going to die, but then in the future be known as this guy who predicted the future. That that wouldn't surprise me. I'd make make like paintings. I'd like paint an iPhone exactly how it was. (gasps) Like all that kind of stuff. What about the the butterfly (laughs) effect? You might just destroy all the future by doing that. You have to predict. Close oh things. shit! What? The butterfly but effect. I feel like. Damn I feel it. like if you if you painted something like an iPhone, for example, I don't think that would yeah. prevent it. I think if anything, it would escalate it because people would try to make no, it look I like think... that. You know wait, what? No wait, wait. I, I'm on the side of. Um, I know what I would do with Alexander. Similar to Alexander, but I wouldn't say it to anyone. I just fill this book up, right? Very early on, right? And then I'd just I'd have like I'd copy it, but I just put it sporadically. Like I just travel and chuck books around, right? And then people will oh. find this book, and then they'll just remember my name. But like I haven't spread it out; like they won't know I'm crazy. I feel like you could, you could, you could put them because you know the future and land hasn't been as developed. You could know exactly where they're going to build stuff and put them there, so you know they're going to get discovered. The so you know how you said we couldn't take anything back. Do you reckon you could go to London and be like, I reckon this is where the shards going to be? The what? Yeah, because the <laughs> the Thames would be there, wouldn't it? The shards. Yeah, but, and that, the, so I'm saying it's in the 1800s. The, oh, the shard, the tallest building in London. Oh, there's another thing I learned. I'm saying, like, I'm like just saying, back then, in the 1st of January 1800, do you reckon you could go somewhere? Bearing in mind, rivers change shape and also. Well, oh. was the house. Where on the river when were the houses of parliament built? Surely they've been there for a couple hundred years. And they're true, but I'm just saying, like, so. That's what, like, re- you'd ha- there's guess. enough there relative, sure. Like, 1800. I don't know. I just thought it was an interesting question. I question. would. <laughs> what happened in um, it's what a really I would interesting do question. It is. is I'd go to a farmer's land. I would uh, plow, <laughs> plow some potatoes uh-huh. and make potato chips and be like, ha ha, you've never seen this before. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like cook it. They're like, like well done for inventing <laughs> chips. What yeah, if you like, just sang no, every but... song? Like, <laughs> I can't be this creative. These are all the songs of the future. And you just sing like all the songs oh, you know. Yes. This person. You could be what a musician. They, know? Music. they just come up with nothing. Make, make an instrument. Nice. Like build your own guitar. No, they oh, had surely a they, they had, had that. back then, didn't they? <laughs> surely they had that. I don't want people to know I'm from the future. I just want them to think I'm a genius. <laughs> or be, make a recorder from a piece of bamboo stick. <laughs> yeah, but can you do that now? Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way you'd be able to do that now. You just Emma's, get a Emma's magically some... acquiring I just, I just build a TV just and be like, look, this is TV from the future. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, you, I reckon I could make my own recorder from a bamboo stick. <laughs> Challenge. I reckon, 2020. I reckon I could shape, at some point I in I 2020. I reckon I could reshape history with the, my book. You know, there was the book of Eli. This would be the book of Dev. And I just have like... Just uh, like there'd be like a chapter, Obama, <laughs> a great man will come, you know, or like um, Martha, Lu- like there'll be all these Jose Ma- Rizal. Who are you going to say? Martha Lewis? No, Martha Stewart? Martin. Oh. And then you'd have like Michael Jordan. Like you'd just say, there'll be a great man that will fly through the air. Oh. Michael Jordan. Do you know what else you'd, you'd have to put in there, Dev? What? And in the year 2020... The B Side World podcast took off. Yeah, and and it's very precise. You know what I mean? And they're like, "This guy is unreal." Let's let's follow his you could, commandments. Why you should create a religion if you wanted to. You write yeah. your own you could. Dev's Bible. Yeah, you, you, you could. could. 
You could. Easily. You actually, um, yeah. If you, you if you predicted all that stuff, then you could just go. And now you have to follow these rules at the back of the you, like ten rules. Have you seen that? Have you seen that? Um, <laughs> have you seen that uh, show uh, with Ricky Gervais, um, the world, the the man that f- created the first lie? Have you heard, have you seen? The oh yeah, of um, the invention yeah. of lying. The invention of lying. Have you heard? man? I watched Brilliant. that Brilliant and I was film. like, Ricky takes a dig at all religions all the time, but he does it in a way where you can't get like. It's hard to get angry because it's like, it's just a story. I'm just, it's part of a story. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> I haven't seen it. It's so funny. It's a, like, it is, yet, it's a really interesting film. Like, if I don't want to put it's a spoiler. It's a good film, like, because it makes you think a lot whilst it's happening. Yes. I don't, I think, it, I feel like they could have got so much more out of the film. But I guess that's the problem with something like that, where they have to just choose what yeah. they focus on and that's the film. Because what they focused on, they did it really well. Like, it was like, yeah. when they had it on the pizza boxes, it was just like, Man, that is so smart. <laughs> I, I just love the whole concept of like how they were like his job of how he had to make things about the 1800s or whatever it was, whatever his yeah. year was. And it's like, that's why he's shitted on his whole life. It's because like, oh, you're, you're not very good at your job. It's not my fault the 1800s it's were the boring. Black plague. <laughs> <laughs> how can I make the Black Plague interesting? <laughs> oh, you could make um masks, filtered masks. I'm trying to. You have to convince them in the time. Your Are you question still thinking was, about the question? Still to convince. <laughs> Are you still thinking about the question? We've obviously gone past that. I'll question. probably go to bed tonight <laughs> thinking of ways to how how to convince the 1800s people. Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, Dev. What's your article next? My article is about KFC selling chicken. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. KFC sold chicken. Yeah. So KFC what are you chicken. talking about? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just broke the news. That's uh um they were selling oh chicken yeah. to vegans. Like what do you elab- Hold on. elaborate? <laughs> um, Have you I'm, read the article? I'm, no, no. I'm building intrigue. Okay. <laughs> Am I am I wrong, Alexander? Is it wrong? This this is a completely isolated incident, by the way. It's only yeah. happened once. Yeah, I thought so. But the way but it's set up, two, yeah, two vegans involved, so we can say they sold chicken to yeah. The, the way vegan. it's the way it's or written or headlined makes it sound like it was like an ongoing thing. <laughs> so this restaurant, this standalone KFC, I don't uh, I don't know whereabouts, but mm. sold real chicken mm-hmm. to vegans. So uh, there's a vegan chicken. Mm-hmm. But the vegans thought they were eating the vegan chicken, but they sold them real chicken. Aren't, yeah, aren't all so chickens <laughs> vegan? <laughs> are so all confused. chickens vegan? <laughs> chickens are vegan because they only eat grass or chicken food. Oh, man. So then... <laughs> <laughs> Dev! <laughs> <laughs> so then... Uh, <laughs> Can we eat chicken? <laughs> oh my goodness! So I think with this article, it's they weren't it like it's not like a a, a company wide thing. It's just that a lot of people were making mistakes, like miscommunication with the orders. So this couple had been vegetarian for a few years, not vegan, vegetarian, veggie, and they were like, okay, let's do a trip to back to KFC. They hadn't been in like years. Yeah. They were like, they've got this new vegan burger. We'll go get that. So they placed their order. Yeah. And the people that they placed their order with, it seemed that they understood that they were vegan because when she asked for like fries or something or whatever it was, the lady was like, oh, that's not vegan. Did you want beans or corn or whatever? So she thought, okay, well, they must know that we're vegan, whatever. They get their burger and start <laughs> eating it. Yeah. I think this was through drive through Yeah. And then... They were like so confused because it because it tasted so real. Yeah. Did they like it? Uh, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, at first, I think the person said, "Oh, did you want a zinger or whatever? Fill it, whatever." And they were like confused. But anyway, then as soon as so he calls the he calls the or looks online or calls KFC and says, "What?" what type of box is the vegan burger coming? Because I remember on the advert, it looked green. And they said, yeah, it's supposed to be green. And they looked at their box and it wasn't. The wife was sick, like vomited. And he was just like, 
disgusted. Like, oh, <laughs> that's how I imagine. <laughs> Threw it out the window like, oh. anyway. Um, and then it turned out that they had been given real chicken. Yeah. Um, and they went online and they saw that a lot of people had had this issue as well. Like were given the wrong burger. So I think it's just a mis like KFC put out a statement saying we so like this and like this is a big mistake. This there was a miscommunication issue. Blah 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 blah. It's a is it is it an oxymoron? Is it oxymoron? Vegan chicken? Is that an is that is that what's the definition of oxymoron? Yeah, yeah. that would be yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. killing it today. <laughs> I'm killing it today. Um, but I totally <laughs> understand how this could happen because I think I said before when I went to the drive through for. Um, yeah, it's rebel. 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 When I went Wapa. to the drive through for <laughs> Hungry Hungry Jacks, which is Burger King, yeah. I said, Can I have a can I have the Rebel Whopper? No please? repeating of stories, thanks. And she said <laughs> Hun- Hungry Jacks is Burger King. Yeah. Yeah. And she said, Oh, that was deja vu. We've we've had this conversation. Yeah, exactly. We have. So <laughs> it nearly happened to me. <laughs> Long story short. <laughs> well, look. There's a couple of things. First of all, I want to clarify because Emma's mis- misrepresented some of this. Oh, no. Um, and I think it's kind of important to the article. No. <laughs> um, when they searched online, they hadn't searched that this had happened to a lot of people. That's They they searched and people had said that they couldn't tell the difference between chicken and like it tasted like it tasted good. So they're two completely different things because what... I mean, look, my, my biggest thing with this is I I think they're in the wrong. I don't think KFC did anything wrong. Like, orders get messed up. If you can't check the box that you're eating from, like, not being funny, but when you order food, every food item on a menu comes in a different box. If you have a box that says Zillers, uh, whatever they're called, Zinger or Filler, yeah. like, you're an idiot. If, you eat, if you're a vegetarian especially, like, you're an idiot. Like, I'm sorry, you, that's your You know fault. what? Alexander's totally right. Because, like, when you... I don't know how many times I've... Um, you, you order food and then you check it. You check your food. You check your food. That's what you do. You check it and you go, and then you look at it, and if it's wrong, you're in huff and a puff straight away. You're like, oh, I can't go back. I'm going to complain. Right? You go back and you go, you've messed up my order. I want free fries. <laughs> and a Sunday. Wait. Because you're making me wait. Three. wait. I always ask for four. Do you, I bet you never ask for free food. Always. I'd never And you know what I do? Asking. And what I do at um, the, I won't name the name, but it's got arches, right? Anyways, I'd go in and they give me the wrong food. So like, let's say I'd ask for a, a Mac chicken or whatever and they give me a quarter pounder. I don't know how they get it wrong, but they give me a quarter. I'll eat it. I'll have like a bite, a two bites, and I go, it's the wrong burger. I go, Look. But you already know. <laughs> yeah, I already know. I've, I've taken a bite. I go, oh, I didn't realize. And then I'll go back. I ordered a chicken. <laughs> and on a Sunday, like I'll ask for, I demand Do something you act- free. No! I no do. way. I, do. I I mean, you know, all, all power to you, but I just can't imagine it. Because <laughs> you're more like, oh, oh sorry. Dark side of Dev. <laughs> I feel like he's more like, oh, sorry. Um, I ordered this one. I am not a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to disrupt your 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 corporation or your business. And I, and I don't want to put you out at all. <laughs> but, uh, if you have the time, could you could you replace my meal with my with the meal that I ordered? <laughs> That's not what I would do. I love your impression. <laughs> well <done>. myself. <laughs> so you're right, Alexander. You would check. You would check. I, yeah, I, I just agree. think. I don't think. I think. KFC are obviously in the wrong, as in they gave the wrong order, but that's just what yeah. you should expect yeah. from somebody that has so many orders per day. Yeah. It's like when you hear about the sat nav story that someone drives into a river because they were following their sat nav. <laughs> you like, just look out of the window, there's a river in front of you. Don't drive through it. Have some personal responsibility. That's, that, that, was, that was the only reason. Sorry, I didn't want to make it sound like um, Emma, Emma was doing a bad job. It's just that was the only reason I wanted to clarify because if this was something that happened a lot, then fair enough. Like KFC, yeah. fix your fix your system. Yeah. Like there's something wrong there. But in this situation, yeah, like you've got to have some personal responsibility. It's it's like that coffee, the coffee uh, lawsuit, right? Like they spilt coffee on them, and they it didn't say on the lid that it was hot. Oh, they won that though. I know they won that, and now you see on the caps it goes caution hot. Have you seen that on the coffee lids? Is that true? Someone someone really? spilled coffee on themselves, and because it didn't say hot. Yeah. No, 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 no. It wasn't because it didn't say they, hot. They ordered coffee. They ordered no, coffee. No, no, no. <laughs> no, this was a massive lawsuit, actually. What happened was this guy went to Starbucks, I think it was. Yeah. And he ordered coffee, but they put it extra hot. 
like they did their coffees extra hot. Yeah. Um, so that they lasted longer. And the but the guy drove put it in. He was in it was a drive through one. I think it was Starbucks. Or anyway, um, he put it in between his legs, and it spilt and burnt him. And he successfully won like a lot of money. Or there was a class action suit or something because it ha- happened a few times. And since then, they had to reduce the temperature of the coffee because they were doing it extra hot. So if How so now, so wait, so if it was right? like so, so if it was normal right? hot. So no, so now if you want, like a friend of mine at work got me onto it, but she's she has to request um, extra hot now because yeah. they don't they don't do it as they don't do it as hot. It, it, so I'm okay. I may I may get the physics behind this wrong because it's been a good over a decade since I studied this. But when you boil water, hundred. Like, you can't get any hotter than that because then it's not no, water anymore. No, but they're anymore. putting milk like, in it. No, extra no, no, because you're not <laughs> meant to boil coffee water. Though. Yeah, and also, wait, how do you make how do you make coffee? I boil the kettle. No, no, but in coffee, you don't, when you boil the kettle, you should really let it sit for a while or put water, cold water in, or um, milk in first. Yeah. Okay. Because if you get to a hundred degrees, you <laughs> burn the beans. It scorches the beans and it makes it bit, okay. taste bitter. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just can I just say something about this? So someone worked at Starbucks. One of my close friends worked at Starbucks and this turned into a heated argument. You can't burn the beans. You cannot you can burn the beans. You, you, you can, cannot. you scorch them. Hey, 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 hey. I'm telling you about a barista hey, hey, hey. that worked in Starbucks, right? And they went through the procedures. You can't burn beans. It's it's impossible to burn beans because the beans are roasted already. Hmm. So how, how do you burn beans? Anyway, I don't know the physics behind it, but I'm just back to my mate. Well, that roasted already means nothing. Yeah, it's true. Um, Oh wait, so you're telling me that I've just I, I've been making coffee wrong my whole life, but then apparently I'm not. No, <laughs> you <laughs> haven't been. Oh, you all, no, Alexander, always <laughs> always add the milk first before the hot water. Coffee. With I don't put milk in my coffee. Have you noticed? Uh, the di- have you noticed the difference between putting the milk first and then putting yeah, the milk after? One hundred percent. Have you? One hundred and fifty. Dep- but I heard though it depends on how you get your beans. Like if some of them are already burnt before you get them, and they're like. The type of bean which can be burnt and they don't be affected much. But there's other ones which are more in a raw state. And when you make them, which most like good coffee baristas do, I don't know if Starbucks do that. Maybe Starbucks don't because they want a wider range yeah. of error, right? They want to make it easy for yeah. anyone because they can just pick people off the street to work there. But I don't know, like I because I felt like I heard it from a good source, but I can't tell you who my source was. To be fair, you can get like lightly roasted beans medium and like strong roasted and it depends on the type of bean of how much it should be roasted because i was to say flat out all beans can't be burnt at 100 degrees seems a bit like i was well i was that's okay if you're talking about this type of bean. i was definitely under the impression that you could burn beans so i was on i was on that way of thinking but when he was very very adamant of this i was like oh man this guy's very passionate about you can't burn beans oh yeah interesting okay i kind of mixed my story it wasn't a guy it was a girl her name was stella Liebach or Liebach, and it was mcdonald's and she was awarded 2.86 million although she only received 640,000. and it's and she was 79 year old and she d- suffered third degree burns in her pe- pelvic region oh. when it spilled so let me ask this then if that was a, a normal coffee temperature would it not cause burns not as much as the like extra 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 hot and also, did she not lose that lawsuit because she was an idiot for putting it between her legs in a car? Like, yeah. <laughs> again, where's the like, personal responsibility? It was, I think there? this is a big. This is this was a big lawsuit. Look it up. It's the Lee Beck versus McDonald's restaurant. Oh, it was McDonald's? Yeah. And she won though. Yes. Was it a massive payout? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. And but then Starbucks have also been in 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 lawsuits for the same thing. But anyway, so I guess yeah. With a uh, with good old burger, burger people, yeah, KFC and that, like, and I guess using this coffee one, like, what, where, where does the line of personal responsibility start? Like, at what point should you just rely on what other people have done? This is a, interesting that you say this because me, Dev and I were watching a Netflix series called Rotten. Have you watched it? You love that series, yeah. Watch uh-huh. it if you haven't. It's fantastic. Every episode it focuses on a different problem. Um, and we watched one episode which was about um, drawers. Um, Ikea. Ikea, but not just Ikea, but I, it, the focus was on Ikea. Um, drawers, chest that, of drawers. That would fall that over. fall 
Um, so they topple Ooh. over and they have killed quite a lot of um, children because the children have opened the drawer. And it's not necessarily the top drawer that has to open for it to tip either. So it tips and um, child dies. Now, they was, what happened was they recalled them, but obviously not, not everyone sees them. But sorry, the way that I got onto this was because they said it should be the people's responsibility to fix a bracket to the drawers and uh, to the wall to hold the drawers to stop it from tipping. No, before that, before that, they didn't even provide a bracket. Before that, they didn't provide a bracket. Then after the recall and the lawsuit, oh, and then they denied that there was a problem, even though they knew it was. Then they provided brackets as a recall option type thing. Um, but with that, they there's a recommendation. That all they do is provide a recommendation to secure the bracket to the wall. But something like that where you know that there could be a pro- that there could be deaths, fatalities, and there has been fatalities, do, is it still the onus of the customer, the consumer, to to just know? I think it's a case by case, right? Given, yeah, given the history of that particular case, like how at first they denied it, it just seems like at that point that's the company's responsibility because they're they're yeah. taking every every step to not take responsibility. Yeah. By the way, if anyone wants to know, that's their very popular Malm drawers, M A L M. I think I got them. Uh, we do as well. And actually, it almost tipped when I opened it one day, and I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> Lucky it was just Your me. Head. I know, I, I, I know. For any drawer, like if you're buying a chest of drawers and you and you open all drawers and it starts to tip, is that it? If it starts to tip, then it's no, not... No, it doesn't even have to be all. It could be just the bottom one. It could be the second bottom one. I think second bottom one's most likely or something. could be the top. But they, they give all the scientific things yeah. about what, what a drawer should be built like. Um, the drawer shouldn't come out all the way. Like no, it should the, only draw, come the chest out. of drawers. They were saying the chest of drawers should be all all drawers should be able to open and not tilt. Yeah, 100%. that's how you know but that the drawer reason is, they do has, that is like if you know when you pull the drawer out. Yeah. Nowadays they want to put as much space so they allow the drawer to come out the whole way, whereas it shouldn't. Yes, it shouldn't. It shouldn't come out the whole way. Yeah. And mine doesn't come out all the way. That's good. Oh. Mine comes out about See, uh, chest of drawers. One minute warning. Chest of drawers is my next furniture purchase. Well, so there that's you quite go. good advice. Very good, good advice. <laughs> This week on Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. <laughs> Sad day, really, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Sorry, CJ, we miss you. <laughs> Come back. Okay, so this intro, like the first question isn't necessarily the fact, mm-hmm. but how many words can you think of in like, 10 seconds, which you can say where you don't have to touch your lips. Hello. La, 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 la. So you can say like, which, because you close your lips a little bit, but they don't touch. Which, you can't say M. Which. Mine. Which. Where. You can't say B, when. P. Long. Lion. Pun. Lion. Hello. Long, you can say. Long. Lion. Said. Little. L, L words. Sally. <laughs> All, all S lay, words you uh, can lay. say. L, L words that don't have Laid. M's and B's and P's. <laughs> La. I can tell you a million. Go what? on. Lolly hop. <laughs> if you count, <laughs> if you count from one to a million, the first time your lips touch is when you get to the word million. <gasps> one, two, three, four. Wow. What? What? One, what? Well, I guess, two, yeah, one, I guess teeth to three, lips doesn't count, does it? Three. Four. No, five, what about five. four? I was saying teeth to lips doesn't four. count because four. Four. Yeah, four. teeth to lips. Four. But lips, lips four. to lips. Five. Four. Lips to six. Lips. Four. Seven. Five. Wow. Six. Eight, seven. Eight. Nine. nine ten, ten. Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> this is how you verify a fact. You <laughs> <laughs> this every week. 15, verify facts like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward. It's gonna go one million seconds later. <laughs> nine hundred ninety-nine. <laughs> All right, finish it off then. Do nine, the last one. So it looks nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine one million. One million. One million. Oh, oh million! I guess, yeah. Finally did it. I need to sit down now. My back's aching. Oh my gosh, that was uh, that was crazy. <laughs> one million years later. 
That's a good fact. That's I love that. That's, uh, I like that. I like that. But like who, you know, you said that it, this is how we verify the fact. Who did that to verify it? Like, you don't, you don't really need to. Once you get to, <laughs> once you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know that's the case. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, that's the case. 100, then 1,000. No, you don't even have to 10, do it 000, that way. You figure out which 000, like, letters. You know, yeah. No, you figure out which letters. Ma- Max is showing us how to do it. You're no, saying No, but this that? is okay. a quicker way. All right. You figure out which letters in the alphabet you actually do need for M's. And you fi- and then you just go from one. Which is M's, P's, B's. <laughs> Sorry, I mean <laughs> M's and P's and B's. You figure out which letters it is, and then you just look at the words that make up those numbers. <laughs> is the it the letters that make up the numbers? Is there and a you word list? Answer. Is there a word list? That you can... Okay, tell me which. Tell me which. Tell me which words make up those. Which numbers have those so letters you, in them? You you just off have the top to. Of your head. O N E T W O. Like you do it like that, and you go right. None of the letters that you this use or look for are in that. That is not quick. It, no, you have to spell out every number to figure out yeah. if the letters are in it or no, not. No, but there's only so much, like a certain amount of numbers in the words twenty. Do you know what I mean? Like you only, you, it's less work. I feel like than counting from <laughs> I think one you're to a million. The same point. I think you're saying the same point. <laughs> I say mm. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. None of those have that letter in there. That's good. So the first nine is you'd have to go up to you'd and have have to, go to, to the 19. first hundred by going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now that one's sorted. The first hundred are sorted now because you say 90, then you say one of the first nine, 91, 92. Yeah. And then you say 100, 1000. Yeah, you do it that way. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's the way. You, say the I've only, done it. I just proved it. The, just only, done the it. only difference, you'd have to go up to 19 because the f- uh, 10 to 19 is weird. It's not like the rest yeah. of the numbers. Oh, I totally yeah. thought you were saying literally just count from one to a million. <laughs> and I was like, wait, surely there's a quicker <laughs> oh, way. No, no. I, I wasn't proposing that as the quickest way. I don't think there would be a... They're natural numbers anyway. You can't do 1.3. Uh, yeah, your way is quicker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, definitely. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I love the argument though. No. I love the argument. I was like, no, 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 there's got to be a quicker way. Surely if you just do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All Good right. fact. Right. Love it. Do you want to do... There's a similar fact, which was just very quickly that if... The, can you say a hundred words without the letter A in it? Oh. And then do you only... No, you say... Yeah, say a hundred words without the letter A in 60 seconds. And then you're like, you can't do that. And then you just count to 99 as quick as you can. Oh, wow. Oh, it's not got A in it. Starting with zero. Starting with zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you go up to ninety-nine and you do it in sixty seconds, and then you've proven it to someone. Curious, why do you start in why do you why do you go why do you go zero to ninety nine and not one to a hundred? Oh you can do a hundred. Oh good point. Hundred and one. That's the first one. Hundred and one. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Fair point. I love these facts because we can use it and win. That's a Like if someone randomly asks us that question, yeah. <laughs> Except it just becomes a case about you know it's like a race against the time, race against the clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emma! I say I, I I could picture I could picture Emma like challenging like betting someone on that, and then her still not being able to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you up the stakes for no reason. I could do one hundred in ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what do the kids say? One, two, three, four, ninety-nine, a hundred. Miss a few. I'll miss a few hundred. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Okay. So, as we all know, the bushfires in Australia have been crazy, right? And there's been a lot of fundraising happening. Now, this particular lady... Wait, 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 wait. So, I want to give some... Some uh, notable mentions to oh. uh, people donating. Okay. Um, uh, Chris, Hemworth, Chris Hemsworth yep. donated a million dollars. Um, Nicole and Keith Urban, mm-hmm. they donated half a million. Each. Each. Uh, Pink mm-hmm. donated half a million. I think plus she started it off. With the followers. And then there was a comedian. Um, I think she's up to... Um, 50 mil. 50 mil mm-hmm. for the... Um, to did donate she do for a the concert? Oh, what, did, what did she do? Was yeah, she just put she was on a concert, I think. I'm not sure. She was. She was. Anyways, um, and then Lewis Hamilton, he did half a half a million. Um, Ellen, um, 
it's it's pretty. Ellen I gave away money. Idea. Ben Simmons. Ben, how much did Ben Simmons give? I, I don't know. I think it's like seven hundred thousand or something like that. We've got the tennis stars saying they'll donate for every whatever. I think it was two hundred two hundred dollars for every ace they hit during yeah. a tournament, tournament or a match. Which is all. This is all great in in innovative ways um, to raise money for the bush bushfires. Yeah. Um, there was this woman. Do you want to? Yeah. Is yeah. this the article? Yeah, this is the article. So there was this lady, twenty year old Kaylin Ward, um, who's a model um, on Instagram. Yeah. First of all, she posted a picture naked but covered up, you know, modesty, modesty little, uh, you know, logos or whatever. Yeah. Um, and put a list of charities where people could donate and said, if you donate more than $10, I will send you a nude pic. Wait, when she said $10, it's $10 to a charity. To one of those charities? Yeah, not to her. Not we to want, her. We want to put that out there. Yeah, to, direct to one of those charities that she'd listed and you have to send me proof of, uh, like a res- the proof a of the receipt yeah. um, and I'll send you a nude pic uh, took off, went viral and now she's at her conservative estimates $700,000 but it's probably going to be way beyond and that I think it's over a million dollars now yeah because she was just um, doing the analytics off of $10, $10 at a time whereas people have donated like 5000 or you know loads of different amounts yeah. so uh, that is crazy cool I think I don't have a problem with that. Right. So the post was taken down after yes, four days. So Instagram Instagram took it down. Mm-hmm. And that's why she decided to send um uh private photos to people. That's how it worked, I think. No. Oh, no? So I think the photo the modesty photo was up, but they would get the nude photo once they donated. Oh, she right, DM'd right, right. them, I think. Um but this person, to give more insight, Kaylin is already a nude model on Instagram and Uh, she usually gets paid and that's how she pays her bills. But she decided I'll do this to raise money for the bushfires. Um, And also she was personally affected by the um, car and campfires in uh, California. Okay. So it was sort of like a personal thing that she wanted to do. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon it should have been taken down? Well, similar to you, um, Emma, looking at lots of old poo videos, (laughs) I've looked at lots of nude ladies in the (laughs) (laughs) build-up. A bit of research. (laughs) 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 And your findings are She's done a good job She's done a very good job Um. (laughs) (laughs) Great form Do you you all want to take a look? (laughs) Um, So I I actually retweeted her um, Because I think uh, I think it's genius personally I think This is So I don't know how much you guys Would interact with this kind of content online but like on mm. Twitter, for example, the um, ma- like, uh, have you ever heard of OnlyFans? No, no. Max, are you dead? Okay, all right. Mm. So OnlyFans is this huge. Like, I can't even explain how big it's gotten in the past six months. OnlyFans is an online place where people can register their accounts, um, and you can put videos, pictures on there, um, and people can pay a subscription service to then access those videos and pictures. Now, you know how they used to be like cam girls? Yeah. Or there still are cam girls. This is like the new version for cam girls. But everyone and their sisters on it now. Like the amount of women on it is unbelievable. And they're just promoting on their social medias. Sign up from OnlyFans, sign up from OnlyFans. And they're, make, like, they're making livings off of this. Some of them are like yeah. five bucks a month, some of them 20 bucks a month, whatever it is. So there's already a giant market for guys willing to pay for nude pictures why not put that oh. money towards charity like to me that's a it's yeah. genius i think it's brilliant so do you think um mm. well why uh, what's the question uh, why did it, has instagram gone too far like with all these kind of because like yeah uh, what taking it was it jason, down? jason derulo got his picture taken down because he what was he doing there was a photo of his um he had a his penis was not his penis wasn't showing but it was showing through his pants or something <laughs> and they made him take his um, made it take him his picture because really? it's too revealing. Didn't Safari's actual <laughs> thing get anyway? Um, I don't know, but I don't have a problem with it. But it had, and I know other people since seeing her post have started doing the same thing. Um, like sex workers and stuff have been trying to raise money, but obviously they're going to take it down as well. Yeah. Um, but I've... to raise a million dollars is not too shabby. Well, it's not too shabby. <laughs> 
No, Instagram. I think I agree with Instagram's decision though to say you shouldn't be promoting setting nude pictures, even if it is for a good cause on their platform because like a lot of kids and stuff use mm. it. And yeah, on their platform. Like, yeah, there's some platforms just have to be a safe platform, and Instagram claim they are that platform, or they try to according to their policies. So if, they, if that's the rule, that's the rule. Then you can say like you can do it, just do it a different way, use a different platform. Even obviously Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, but I don't. And Twitter are obviously the biggest. I don't buy it because the reason I don't buy it is because Instagram's biggest moneymaker is sex appeal, and they're fully aware of that. Like mm. it's li- it's a picture mm. platform. It's always going to be your biggest seller. Like you can't yes. you can't create a platform based off of pictures and videos, and then. 100%. Know that you're making all your money off allowed of it. nudity. That's different. Yeah, but she didn't post a naked picture. It wasn't like it, there wasn't anything more revealing on that than there is in if you're wearing a bikini. No, true. But what the the point is, if Instagram start allowing for any, like if it forget the volunteering, the uh, the donation part of it, if Instagram start allowing. I mean, I don't know how many DM. I always get random DMs from people trying to sell sex, and then they get reported or taken down. If Instagram start allowing anything in that area, it will just take over the platform. Like if they didn't stop it. Mm. Because like you said, it sells so much better. So there has to be a line and they drew the line and it's going to sell. Sex is going to sell, but they just decided to draw the line in a certain place and they haven't changed the line for a charitable cause, which I think is, I think that's fair. I think that's just, I don't think you should change it when it becomes charity. You just say, just stay within our rules and then you can continue to do stuff good for charity. But that's the rules on this platform. Okay. I agree with... Uh, Maxi on them taking it down, and but I also think good on the girl for actually doing that. That was that was fine. I got no problems with that. But yeah, perhaps on a different platform. But pretty, uh, pretty. It's interesting. Pretty it is interesting. Way. I wonder if there's anyone that's donated because of her, but haven't asked for pictures. Because like, hmm. I can imagine a mindset saying, "Oh, I want to." donate to a good course and get those pictures and think like that's a bit dirty of me why don't I just donate normally like does it take a woman's boob to get I know to do I good? Thought so. and I look myself in the mirror and I'm like I want to go to a normal source and donate <laughs> I can find the, the best one but yeah. just to just to backtrack from that instead of uh, donating is it um, has she made um, more people aware of the situation that's Probably. happening in Australia mm-hmm. like that weren't aware Probably. maybe like, um, yeah, I'm, maybe maybe I, don't I know, think it's if you have a platform point, and you do something good with it, no matter what your platform is, that's a good decision made. Mm. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like you can have like the worst platform in the world, but if they decide to do something good, that decision in itself was a good decision, no matter what platform it comes from. Yeah. And um, what I can think of, there might be exceptions, but <laughs> uh, she, you know, how I said she she was affected by the car and campfires in California. Yeah. Again, Netflix doco. Did you guys watch that episode on? It's called Fire Fire in Paradise. And it was about the campfire. What they call it. It's crazy that they called it the campfire. That was what it was named when it first started. But it's like the big wildfires last year mm. in California. Watch the episode. Okay. There'll be one about Australia next year, I yeah. guess. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. bell.